Hello, this is Florian Bauer from Semantic Web Company, and in this first video, I will talk about PoolParty and its data governance capabilities. PoolParty is a semantic middleware that uses innovative means to help organizations to build and manage enterprise knowledge graphs as a basis for their AI strategy. We strongly believe that in order to build robust systems that are accurate and manageable in the long term, what's necessary is to build a layer between the actual data and content and the application, which allows us to query and join data from various different sources easily. This, as you can see on this slide, is the enterprise knowledge graph, which consists of the conceptual and linguistic model, taxonomies and ontologies, and the virtual data graph, which links all your data, structured or unstructured, and is basically a graph version of your existing data. PoolParty supports customers to manage such an enterprise knowledge graph by providing tools and functions for all three stakeholder types uh, that are involved in the knowledge graph lifecycle. In this video, we focus on the expert loop, where knowledge engineers and subject matter experts work together on ontologies and taxonomies. I now would like to show you some of these functions in PoolParty directly, so let's have a look into the tool. Today, I'm using a taxonomy and an ontology, which is built around skills and occupations. The taxonomy is visualized in form of a tree on the left-hand side, and we currently are looking at the detailed view of the concept PHP. What you see is that this concept has a unique resource identifier, which always allows us to refer back to that concept. You also see some additional metadata, like broader concepts, putting the concept into the hierarchy, preferred labels, alternative labels, hidden labels and definitions, and so on. With PoolParty, it's very easy to enrich such a concept. You simply can drag and drop concepts from the tree. For example, I could relate this concept uh, of PHP to HTML easily. There are various other ways to enhance and enrich a taxonomy in PoolParty. One example is that you can use the linked data harvesting tool, which automatically derives content from uh, other linked data sources. Here, for example, um, we have occupations, which is not filled yet. What I can do is I can use the linked data harvesting um, to look at computer occupations on DBpedia. DBpedia has an entry on computer occupations, so we can automatically generate a subtree uh, for this taxonomy based on all the concepts that are available on DBpedia uh, related to computer occupations. There are other ways in PoolParty to further enhance and enrich the taxonomy, like the so-called corpus management. With the corpus management tool, what you can do is that you can upload a set of documents related to the subject matter area you're working in to automatically uh, retrieve suggestions on how to enrich the taxonomy. I uploaded 431 CVs in that case. And from these CVs, the corpus analysis extracted terms, which are most likely uh, missing in the taxonomy, like marketing. I added this as a candidate concept now, and even at this point, um, the tool such, uh, supports you to further enrich this concept. You now can simply drag and drop, for example, skills as a broader concept in, into this concept to put it into the hierarchy, or use telemarketing as an alternative label uh, for your concept. Another way to enrich your taxonomy uh, is uh, by ontologies. Ontologies are used to give more dimensionality to a knowledge graph. Looking into our example, we, for example, can model relations, which define what skills are essential for a specific role. So let's go back into our taxonomy and have a look at a concept called front-end developer. This is an occupation that is modeled into the, in the uh, taxonomy. As you can see, there is an ontology applied, which provides additional information around essential skills and optional skills. These new meaningful relations allow you to build semantic AI applications, such as, for example, an application that automatically matches people who are looking for a job with open positions using their semantic footprint, which is extracted automatically uh, from the unstructured text of CVs on the one hand side and unstructured text of the job applications on the other hand side, using the direct matches of the concepts like Java and indirect matches based on the semantic um, uh, relations, like data science scientist as an occupation that is extracted from the skills of that person. This is actually a prime example for active metadata management based on pool party. In this case, through extracting metadata from unstructured text and adding it to the knowledge graph for creating semantic footprints and using them for matchmaking and classification. You'll see more of this in our next video about data analytics.